Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over the dankest memes from the dank memes from site 19 subreddit. Let's get started. Your fifth this in the article has the word five in it. This is uh, by Cora, Corax S. Yeah, um, I do this a little bit myself. Whenever the number five is a significant part of an article, I will always for a moment think is this going to be a fifthist article and almost never is it true uh it feels as though fifthists have somewhat fell out of vogue in recent years uh which is fine i guess i mean the fifthists the, uh, the fifthists were best when they were sort of ex it's it's one of those things is like some things are better when they're expanded on and some things are better when they're left alone i think the fifthists were best when they were being expanded upon when they were the multiple different you know branches of the church there was the scientology-esque version and there was the uh southern baptist style version and so on and so forth uh and and, and talking about those and just being able to start with something new Gave people a lot of material to work with, but eventually people ran out of stuff to write. And fifth, this stuff shows up periodically, but it's nowhere near as popular as it used to be. Welcome to the 001 proposals. Uh, this is uh, by FC Chungus. Welcome to the 001 proposals. The sun. <laughs> we got the sun turning everything alive into giant flesh abominations. An unstoppable force that vaporizes people at random except when looked at, which it can't ever be. Spiral path? What does spiral path do? He makes you walk in circles without actually going anywhere. I mean, if, to be fair, I don't... I, hmm. There are so many 001s now that there isn't really a sense of what an 001 is. If you think about it, when day breaks doesn't really make sense as an 001. Why is it an 001 instead of some random number further down the line? Um, especially since it's the end of the world. So why would anyone, why would it be at the beginning? But the spiral path at the very least sticks to the early thing of 001s being sort of an explanation for the SCP Foundation or an explanation for the anomalous. But as I said, there are what, like 40-something 001s at this point? Um, I'm sure in the next few years, we're going to end up with more than 100 001s. And at that point, at this point, it w there is no one thing. They're just SCP articles that people have decided to put a little bit more... Um, they're SCP articles where people say, this is super important. That's it. That's all, it, that's all it is. And whether it actually is super important is entirely up to the author's ability to make it so. Ah, hello. Which one of us are you? This is a nightmare. <laughs> there are... It's, it's funny that there are so many. You know what? I'm going to have to block out the middle one because that's the copyrighted image. But uh, there's so many uh, 173 versions now. Uh, gosh, it's funny. There will never be a single version ever again. And that's fine because, you know, if the creator didn't want us to make them, we shouldn't be making them. We shouldn't be using it. Let's put it that way. And this meme is by Ilseth. I'm going to call it Ilseth. This one is by Top Guy. Nine nine, stop doing anomalous sciences. Anomalies were not supposed to be understood. Years of pataphysics, yet no real world use found for getting an existential crisis. Wanted to go higher anyway for a laugh. We had a class for that. It was called Explained. Wow, Billy, that story was really was sixty six percent real and thirty three percent fictional. Please tell me about the abstract rhizomatic deific. Simeo Antonary Memeplex that resides inside the new sphere. I love fractal topologies of Theta Prime. Statements dreamed up by the utterly deranged. Look at what authors have been demanding your respect for all this time. With all the writing materials we built for them. This is a real SCP done by real authors. Hello, I would like to destabilize a given deific entity's embodied memeplex within the new sphere, please. They have played us for absolute fools. I mean, this is a joke, a lot, obviously, but there is something to be said for the for a sort of lack of simplicity these days. 
in the SCP wiki. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. And, and there are simple articles still. They're just outnumbered by things that are so complex that you need uh, a degree in a specific field in order to understand. Um, that's not, that's overstating it. That's not absolutely true. But we get... <laughs> And, and the problem is, is I think the authors look at that and go, oh, this is very, very good when, because it's, you know, it's technical and it's, it's very precise and it's very detailed. Uh, and it's also very boring a lot of the times, <laughs> but they, uh, but you can look at something like that as an author and think to yourself, I have created something amazing because this is, because it is so detailed and because it is so in-depth. And the truth of the matter is, you, you haven't done that. You've created something that no one wants to read. This is actually my uh, problem with early. I'm going to say early because I stopped reading it uh, because of this, so I don't know if it got better or worse. I assume it must have gotten better. But the third law canon was like this for me. It was so boring in the beginning. Just just so boring. And I, I, I read like two or three articles because science fiction is, is my jam. So I thought it would be my thing. I just couldn't get into it. And I'm sure it's gotten better because it's incredibly popular as a canon, but it is definitely not for me. Definitely not. Uh, this one is by zombie scholar, innocent and heartwarming SCPs, the community, anything bad that could ever happen to them. I mean, you know, this feels as though this, first of all, this is absolutely true, but it feels as though it kind of runs counter to the point for a lot of, uh, SCPs. Like a lot of the stories about SCPs, especially ones that are heartwarming or innocent is that the world sucks. And the SCP Foundation are not the good guys. They are the bad guys. So innocent and heartwarming SCPs kind of, ha I don't know if they have trouble finding a place, but have trouble surviving, or at least surviving with their innocence intact in the world of the SCP Foundation. Uh, but, but everybody wants to have something that's beautiful. Everyone wants that. And so we try to pretend like, you know, the, the ships passing in the night uh, didn't get killed by the GOC or that the chair didn't get uh, chipped or that uh, here the dragons are still here and here be dragons. And I I mean, the, the stories only work because of the loss suffered. I don't know. I feel like the SCP community could stand to embrace loss a little bit better and not, not the web comic, the, <laughs> the concept of loss. Anyway, that's it. There weren't a lot of memes to go through this week and I didn't sell and the, of the memes that I had to select from, I didn't select a whole lot of them because I didn't know that I had much to say on certain topics, but Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday, I promise.